In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customer support email AI agent. So we're going to automatically get posts from your Gmail inbox. We are going to take the email content, send it to an AI agent that's been trained on your company data, generate a response, and then send it to your draft folder so that you can edit and approve before sending. Or if you're a sicko for automation like myself, just send it out automatically as is. All right, let me show you how to do it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com, enter your name and email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. We've created a bunch of AI agents for your business and some for personal needs as well. The newest one is called email support, but in order to use this agent, we need to quickly set up your account. For brand new accounts, it will drop you onto the settings page and I want you to click Gmail. Then you're gonna name your Gmail integration within youraiagent.com. I'm gonna write Wes GPT inbox, click connect. We go to this Google accounts OAuth screen. So you need to click on the Gmail inbox that you want to connect. I'm in the process of verifying my app with Google. This is done within the Google developer console. So in the meantime, you'll have this Google hasn't verified this app. You can trust me, just click advanced. It says the developer account, that is me. Click go to youraiagent.com. We need access to multiple things within your Gmail. And if I click on the four services, we are grabbing your emails. We're sending emails on your behalf. If you have that toggle checked, we are managing drafts. If you want to approve before sending. And then this scope is for actually reading the email content. So it's pretty basic stuff here. Click continue. If everything is all right, you're going to get this notification that says your Gmail account has been connected. I'm going to click OK. And then now I can see in the connections down here and I can remove it at any point. So now we need to set up our API keys and this email support agent uses OpenAI's assistant API. And that's because we're using the knowledge base in the future. I might enable it for Gemini and Claude but we won't be able to use a knowledge base. So you're gonna need an open AI secret key. So click on this hyperlink, create new secret key, create secret key, copy this key, paste it into the input box like so. If this is the first time you're using the open AI developer platform, open AI is the company that makes ChatGPT. We connect this in order to use ChatGPT outside of their website. So you need to go to settings, and then billing, you need to add a valid payment method and then credits to the account. So it's a pay as you go system. You do not need a chat GPT subscription and a chat GPT subscription does not cover this, but don't worry. It is much cheaper to use the API than to pay for the subscription unless you're going crazy and you're sending thousands and thousands and thousands of emails per month. It's only going to cost you pennies in API credits. Next, you can click on subscription. And if you don't have an active subscription, this button will say subscribe. Mine says go to portal. I'm going to click on it. Youraiagent.com is $9 per month. And that covers unlimited workflows, unlimited email sent, unlimited Gmail accounts connected. If you are an agency, you can sign up multiple clients under one basic plan. I'm trying to make this the cheapest AI agent platform on the internet. With all that out of the way, you can now click on the email support agent. It answers customer support inquiries with an AI agent trained on your data. Here I am on the email support agent page. First, you want to select your inbox. By default, the latest one connected is shown first. And now let's read some additional information about this agent. So respond to customer inquiries through a connected Gmail account with AI agents trained on your company's data or knowledge base. Select your preferred response interval and choose whether to send replies directly or save them as drafts for approval. Your agent will only respond to new emails in the queue. I'm going to click read more. So text model GPT for Omni works best. Shorter agent instructions will produce the best results. We handle proper formatting in the background. No need to include this in the prompt. You can directly view and edit your AI agent from the assistance portal. So in the back end, we're actually creating an AI assistant in OpenAI, And this is how we're able to use the file search tool 
also known as the knowledge base. Uploading a knowledge base is optional, though I do recommend it. And start with a cleared and filtered inbox as the agent will respond to all emails, including spam. And the reason I put no filter on the incoming emails is because in my experience, sometimes actual, real, authentic customers have got sent to spam accidentally. So my advice is if you already have a full inbox, go through, see which emails you want to reply to. So this Quora Digest is clearly spam. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to block Quora Digest. Let's block it. It's also probably a good idea to unsubscribe. And I'm going to go on here and click never save preferences. So I should get no more Quora emails and then I can start deleting all the conversations. Obviously don't delete ones from real people, but all of the spam stuff go through, clear the inbox, maybe even start with a fresh inbox so that you don't waste your AI agent and API credits responding to junk. In the future, I might create a spam filter if that helps you guys out. And then every once in a while, periodically, maybe go into your inbox, check the spam folder, remove the good emails from spam so they start going into the inbox. But for now, it responds to absolutely everything. Okay, next we need to select our text model. So I'm going to select GPT-4 Omni. The language, I'm gonna keep it at English. For the email check time, if you wanna imitate a real person, a real customer support agent that only works between certain hours, you can probably fiddle with this. I wanna answer emails around the clock. So I'm gonna keep this interval at one. So it's gonna check for new emails and respond to them every hour. And this is the big setting right here. Do you want to send all emails to draft first? If you toggle this on, your AI will respond to the email, but send it to the draft folder so that you can go in manually, either from your mobile phone or your desktop computer, edit the contents, approve it first, and then click send. If you are a daredevil, if you are obsessed with automation like myself, you can uncheck this. But warning, the AI might go off the rails. It might send stuff that is incorrect, but it's going to read the emails, create the response, and then send it automatically. If your support is sensitive, I do not recommend using this setting. But for some personal use, for some businesses, if you can accept a 70 to 75% success rate with your email support, and that sacrifice of the 25%, takes hours and hours of load off of your plate, then maybe this is the setting for you. Like if you've ever tried to contact a Google representative, they're pretty much all automated. I'm gonna send to drafts first. Now we need the agent name. This is what you will call the open AI assistant. Plus it will be shown in the email signature unless it's overridden in the instructions. I'm gonna write West GPT. Now for the instructions, this is how you want your AI agent to act. I'm going to write, you are a customer support agent for, let's go your AI agent.com. And I want it to respond to customer emails using your knowledge base. And then down here is the knowledge base. Now I want to give a warning on this as well. I've been using open AI's AI assistance for a long time, and it's not the best at actually searching the knowledge base when instructed to do so as they've updated it, it has gotten much better. Sometimes it even sources information from the knowledge base. So we're still a bit away from being absolutely perfect. But the reason I mention this is I don't want you spending hours and hours and hours creating a perfect knowledge base of instructions, FAQs, past email responses that were correct, uploading it and not getting the results you want. Spend as little time on this as possible and iterate and edit as you go. So I'm going to click to upload a file and in my downloads, I have this text document called email responses. I went through all of my inbox. I copy and pasted all of the best email responses that I wrote by hand as a human. And I'm going to add it into the knowledge base because this gives an idea of the most commonly asked email support inquiries, which I have an answer to. So let's click open. There it is right there. I can click start email support. It's going to go to the workflows page. 
We see this connection West GPT inbox. The type is email support agent. The interval is checking every hour. I can cancel this at any time. I'm gonna click on the edit button. I can change any of the settings and I can also upload a new updated knowledge base. Let's say I've added some new FAQ, some new email responses, whatever. I can click to upload a new file and it's going to actually edit the AI assistant with the new vector file. If it's easier to do so, you can also go to platform.openai.com, go to the assistance tab and edit the assistant within there. If I click on this, this is the email responses.txt file that I uploaded within your AI agent. You can detach from the assistant, delete the files, add new ones. You can do it through the dashboard as well as within your AI agent.com. So the choice is yours, but I'm going to leave this running for a bit. I have sent three test messages to my email account, and I'm going to wait to see how the AI agent responds. All right, here are the three emails. And you can see they've been automatically marked as read and how it's working in the back end is we're checking for unread messages. So if a message is unread, it will write a response to it. And that's how we know the email is new. If you're looking at this stuff manually, let's say I went in and read it, but I want the AI agent to write a response for it. I can go back to inbox, right click on the message, mark as unread. And when the AI agent checks for new messages, it will rewrite a response to this email. Anyways, I'm going to go to the draft folder and here are all the messages in draft. We got this email that said, hello, I feel like I can't connect your software to my WordPress website. I keep getting this error message. Sorry, you are not allowed to create posts as this user. Any ideas? And the AI agent wrote the error message. Sorry, you are not allowed to create posts as this user typically indicates a permissions issue with your WordPress account. Please make sure that the user account you are using has the necessary permissions to create posts. Best West GPT. So I actually like this as it is and I could send it right away, but I'm going to quickly add one more thing. I'm going to write the user must have the editor role enabled. Then I can click send and it has removed the email from draft and has been sent to my customer and hopefully it helps them out. So this AI agent is currently in beta. I'd like to see a few of you guys use it and to give me feedback on how it could work better. I think the potential with this AI agent is really high. We just need to perfect it together. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to try it for yourself, I'll leave a link to your AI agent.com in the description below. If building AI agents for yourself interests you, I have an online course called how to build a custom AI app. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch and I'll see you in there later.